Will we get him? Will we get him? Oh yeah. Kaboom. Hello, hello guys. Kaza here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be taking out the German tier 4 cruiser, the Königsberg. And uh, we're on the map Warrior's Path, one of the new maps added recently to the game. And it's a domination game mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this Kraken hunt today and um, let's jump straight into this match. Alright, let's quickly take a look at the team roster there. We're facing only one destroyer on the enemy team, luckily, a T-22. And then we have a bunch of cruisers and um, we only have one battleship, the USS Tennessee, to worry about. Luckily, this is not a carrier match, so we don't have to worry about airstrikes and torpedoes from above. I'm in a division with the Visby and uh, we get the uh, South Central spawn here. And I will make my way over to the uh, Bravo flank. Alright, so yeah, the Konigsberg. A very interesting cruiser. Um, as you can see, the turret layout at the, the rear of the ship here. There's one to the left-hand side of the ship at the back. And then one slightly to the right. So they counterbalance each other, or at least I think they do. And uh, yeah, very interesting design here with a 360-degree turret, as you can see here. So yeah, this makes for a very interesting little uh, light cruiser. Um, the Konigs I wouldn't classify the Konigsberg as a light cruiser per se, but um, just, you know, the feel of the guns and the quick loading guns makes it feel like a light cruiser. But uh, yeah, um, we are migrating uh, over to the Bravo side. And as you guys can see, we've got three cruisers to uh, assist us here. And then my destroyer friend in the division is heading over to Bravo and he will spot for us as he already spotted the... Um, the uh, I believe the Tennessee and the Emerald for us. All right, just quickly looking at the camos that we're running and uh, the friendly ships, our allies, uh, if they're running camos as well. That's usually a sign if you've got potato teammates or no. <laughs> you never know, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, start chipping on on this Emerald. And uh, yeah, we take aim there. And uh, Emerald is under fire from not just us, and I didn't pay attention there, so that's probably on me for the ram there. I do apologize, random player, for uh, ramming you there. wasn't paying attention. All right, so starting to uh, work on the Emerald there. We take out one of his torpedoes temporarily, and we set a fire. I believe he's still burning. No, he put out that fire. He repaired our fire. All right, now we just stay here. Since there's uh, ships in front of us, and we've got the island to cover us, um, we see the Tennessee is uh, angling away from us, which means he's basically out of range for us. But I think he can still hit us. Um, at the, this angle, as you can see, I think he's shooting me, actually. Yeah, he shot me there. And, uh, oh, we got an HE Citadel there on the Emerald with high explosive shells, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, we finish off the Emerald there for a very nice uh, first blood medal there. Two citadels and 9,000 damage later, and we got the emerald off the map. Very nice. All right, so now we got a marblehead, and uh, boom, marblehead is toast, so we don't have to worry about him. And now we can start pushing in a little here. My division mate in the Visby is asking for support as there are two uh, cruisers uh, approaching him and uh, contesting the cap. So uh, here I am coming uh, in hot, trying to uh, get rid of these cruisers. So we see it's an Emil Batin and a uh, Nuremberg, I believe, that we need to deal with. So here I am checking the direction that the mule is turning, also adjusting my torpedoes from widespread to narrows, and um, hopefully we can get into this uh, this cap here. Luckily with the Konigsberg and the 360 turrets at the back, you don't have to worry about turning your turrets this way and that way, and angling this way and that way. You can just uh, turn your ship and the turrets will follow automatically. Alright, AP into the mule. He is turning out, but uh, that doesn't stop the shells from penetrating as we get a very nice citadel there. Now we aim a little bit higher, we get two ricochets, one pen, and now we're aiming up into the superstructure for a little more damage. As our team also starts to uh, work on this guy, and unfortunately we switch to high explosive shells as he was angled, but uh, he gets away from us behind the island and there's not much we can do. We do see a very uh, interesting Omaha to shoot at in the middle there, that's without a camo, and uh, looks to be as if he's a little scared and out of place. Um, so uh, we will we will be taking shots at the Omaha next, I believe. All right, let's see. He's creeping forward at a constant speed. Take aim. We know we should be able to penetrate the Omaha at this angle. He is angled towards us, and as you can see, they're very nice penetration. They're double citadel, three pins, and one over pin, 
and uh, we'll continue to uh, get some uh, nice hits there. Another double citadel on the Omaha. I don't think this player even knows where the shells are coming from, to be honest with you. Looking at the way that he's turning and uh, responding to the threat that he was re receiving there, and uh, we managed to eliminate the Omaha there. Poor, poor, poor Omaha player. Um, I kind of feel bad for just picking on that potato. Um, but on the other side, then again, it's... Uh, it's a cruel world out there, especially on warships. Um, nothing, nothing is fair in this game unless you are the one dishing out the the pain, you know. And uh, yeah, now uh, luckily we will be able to uh, push into Bravo here and support my uh, destroyer in the Visby here. All right, so the Mule Baten is uh, low health there, as we can see, and I do believe my friend in the Visby is opening up fire on him, and hopefully he'll be able to gun him down if at all possible. And uh, if I can get my ship turning and moving, hopefully we'll be able to assist him if necessary. Alright, so currently we're up one ship with uh, five minutes into the game. And uh, things are looking good for our team. Uh, enemy team only has four ships left. And uh, hopefully if we get rid of this Emil, we'll be able to um, be uh, up two ships. As we can see there, aiming, take aim at the Emil. And I believe that will finish him off for our third kill. Let's quickly check. We get the nice hits. We get the nice hits, and that's our third kill of the match. Very, very nice. All right. So up next is this Tennessee and uh, Ayoba, all the way out in the northern border of the map. There. Very interesting. He's probably running away from uh, our two cruisers and our one battleship that's on Alpha. So uh, it's understandable that he's kiting away. And the Japanese cruiser, I will say, is very good at um, kiting and. Uh, this player seems to be doing a very nice nice work here because I'm struggling to hit him. And there are the slow torpedoes from the Emil Batin finally approaching us. And uh, yeah, now we take aim at the Ayoba for our fourth target that we want to shoot at. And I am not aiming properly as you can see there. I miss all my salvos on the Ayoba. And uh, this is going to be interesting. I need to keep an eye out on this Tennessee though. Um, if he pushes around and catches me broadside, he can just dev strike me, and uh, that is not the ideal situation we want to be in. So we be, need to be very careful here. Finally, the uh, Yoba is within 10-ish uh, kilometers from us, so we can take aim at him now. And uh, finally, we get some nice hits into his superstructure. Alright, so we do see that Tennessee is um, pushing out a little, and my division mate in the Visby is rushing him down. And I believe before he got off his torpedoes there, the... Uh, oh no, he did get off one set of torpedoes. My division mate in the Visby before he went down there. As you can see, they didn't hit very hard. And um, now we can start working on this Tennessee. I'm switching to high explosive. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, armor piercing. Because he is broadside to us. So high explosive will do something. But the AP will do more. More damage. As we can farm his upper upper plating and also the superstructure a bit for uh, some nice damage. We don't want to aim waterline. Because that's where the armor belt and the torpedo protection is at its thickest. So we want to be um, aiming a little bit upwards. And here we are just checking, uh, launching one set of torpedoes in case he starts to accelerate. Now we just wait patiently for him to creep a little closer. I don't think that set of ours will hit at all. He's turning in. So we uh, decide to rather start moving before we get absolutely smashed to pieces. And here comes the Ayoba for a... Uh, um, a very interesting maneuver. I'm not sure what the player was trying to pull here, or maybe he didn't know I was here. But anyways, we're trying to angle there. As you can see, he hit us very nicely there with his high explosive shells. And uh, we take aim at the Ayoba there, and boom, Citadel. And uh, very nice fourth kill that we got there. Alright, so now for this uh, okay, widespread on the Ayoba's torpedoes. Interesting. Interesting choice, but um, well, luckily we, we didn't eat the torpedo, so we should be able to uh, contest the Tennessee. Um, looking at the way on the minimap, uh, looking at the way the Tennessee is moving now, is heading to the north. So hopefully with uh, me pushing out, I should be able to get a nice torpedo salvo out on him. And uh, hopefully that could be our uh, potential fifth kill and our potential Kraken here. Alright, so yeah, full speed ahead, and let's see if we can... Um, Find out which way his turrets are pointing before we peek this corner, but I don't think it's uh, going to be that easy to identify. This cliff is pretty high. I don't think we'll be able to see. But regardless, um, <clears throat> yeah, we uh, we see that the 
Tennessee is actually aiming away from us, which is uh, pretty interesting. And uh, we drop one set there, and drop one set there. And we hope he's not going to turn uh, quite aggressively, because uh, that might be a problem for our torpedoes. But, but luckily we get a high caliber medal there. And we see his turrets are pointing the wrong way, so now we just start to open fire on him. Hopefully we can hit him with one torpedo. That's the, at least the goal. One torpedo should be able to finish him off, I believe. And, uh, oh, maybe not. And we managed to get him with a little bit of a flood there for our fifth kill. And the Kraken unleashed middle. Very, very nice. And that also brings us to the end of this battle on uh, Warrior's Path. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that gameplay. And let's quickly take a look at the scoreboard here. 94,000 damage, 5 kills. First Blood, High Caliber and Kraken Unleashed for a base XP of 2,300 with 5 kills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please uh, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.